Okay, this is how men see me. <laughs> that explains so much. How women see me. <laughs> I'm a hot mess, mate. This is why I'm single. How my friends see me. Like other girls. I like anime. Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. I would like to butter your biscuit. Can I have some milky? Hi, and welcome back to Disney Channel. My name's Hannah Sylvana. My actual name is Smiley Cyrus, but I have a different name to remain anonymous and because I like milk. Come sit on daddy's lap. <laughs> you know, you know when you order stuff online, when you're really tired under the influence and you forget about what you ordered. <laughs> I don't remember ordering this. And you're like, oh, is it a jacket? Is it is it a little lamp or something? Nope, nope. It's uh, it's uh. It's a life-size cutout of Bob. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hey, sweetie. Okay, don't freak out, but I got some tattoos. What? No. <gasps> See, they're small. They're small. They're just, they're just little, right? They're cute, right? Oh, no, honey. Like the Kardashians say, you never put a bumper sticker on a Bentley. I don't know if you've noticed this, Mom, but I am not a Bentley, okay? I am a mentally ill, used-up Toyota Corolla who abuses the speed limit and forgets to change her oil from time to time and has been in one too many accidents and has to put bumper stickers on it to distract from all the dents on the outside. Do you need to see a doctor? No. I'm just gonna go get another tattoo. No! Hey, it's a cool sweater. I like it. Listen, I don't need your passive aggressive attitude. I'm being serious, I like your sweater. What? The design is really cool. Actually? Yeah. Really? Really. Why are you being so weird about it? I'm not, I'm just, I just really appreciate you Because usually you dress like a single 75 year old boomer who lives alone with her 12 cats who exclusively shops at Macy's or Walmart. The prices are very reasonable. Or an organic gluten-free thrift store that doubles as a matcha cafe. What does that even mean? And also, is that a real place? So you think you're all cool now because you have a nice sweater? No, I just- Because you're I... not. You're still weird as f and you look like the bottom of a lumberjack's foot. And you know what else? I have to say that I you are Hey mom, can I ask you a question? Just ask. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I was just about to hold a family meeting in here too, so you might as well. Great. So, hypothetically, if someone was to put a fork in the microwave, would it explode? Uh, yeah, I don't know, probably. Hypothetically, how long would it take to explode? I don't know, like a couple minutes maybe? I'm not a scientist. Uh, did you put a fork in the microwave? Hypothetically. Oh my god, how long has it been in there? How long have we been talking? Oh my god. Oh shit. April Fools. It, it, it's May 5th. <laughs> yeah, cause you'd be expecting it on April 1st. So. It... Who put the fork in the microwave? Hypothetically, it did explode. I don't think you know what hypothetically means. 
So, what do you think? Chris, did you hear me? I hear you. Okay. What are you staring at? Nothing, man. I'm just stuck. What do you mean you're stuck? Can't look away. Yes, you can. No, I can't. I'm in a dissociative state of nirvana right now. What the? Just stop staring. I can't just stop, man. It's not that simple. You gotta let it run its course. Wait, no, you don't. Yes, I do. It feels too good. What are you talking about? Just look away. It feels like both my eyeballs are sitting in hammocks made of pillowy clouds injected with ecstasy, surrounded by the sound of children's laughter, all while being held by the sweet embrace of a lover I thought I had previously lost. The f*** is that supposed to mean? It means I can't f look away. Oh my god. Hey guys, so I'm really upset. Um, I got my hair done. It's short. It's the shortest it's ever been. Um, which I'm not upset about that. I, I love the hair. I just forgot to make a really cool transition video. So I'm just gonna give you a really. This is this is my hair. This is my It's a proper pixie. I'll show you the sides. Very aerodynamic. Feeling good. I'll show you the back. Don't even gotta pay for it. It's nice, isn't it? It's low maintenance. Not a lot of mileage. It's like selling a car. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I like my hair. That's it. So, Amanda, why do you want this job? Um, you know, at the end of the day, I just need money. Okay, um, are you passionate about this job at all? Or? Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to be. Uh, Reception. Receptionist, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, so what have you done for work in the past? I used to be an Uber driver, yeah. Big people person, a lot of five-star reviews. Oh, nice. And why did you stop doing that? I got bummed before some people to give me five-star reviews. Okay. Um, do you have any weaknesses? Um, I know I look like a supermodel athlete, Kay, but I have a really hard time lifting heavy furniture and every time I walk up a staircase I sound like an asthmatic Darth Vader. Yeah, I don't mean physically, I mean in general. Oh, um, I'm not that good at reading people. Oh, really? That's hard to believe. Thank you for your sympathies. It's an everyday struggle. Shame. Shame. And, uh, besides money, why, why do you want this job? To be honest, I was sitting across the street at a cafe and I saw a lot of fit men walking in and out of here. This is a marriage counseling office. And? We're, we're trying to get people back together. And if they don't, who's gonna be here like Shaquille O'Neal ready for the rebound? Me. Put that down as a strength. Let me know when the exit's coming up. Uh, in a kilometer, get in the right lane. Perfect. Let me know when the exit's coming up. Uh, we passed it two exits ago. What? Let me know when the exit's coming up. In 3.5 kilometers. Oh, okay, cool. 3.4. Okay. 3.3. I got it. 3.2. You don't have to- 3.1. Shut up! You might want to get in the right lane. Oh, is it coming up? Yeah. In about 30k. When's the next exit? Right here. Oh! Is the next exit coming up? Uh, I'll keep going a couple exits. Oh, is that what the map says? No, but it's fine. I got it. Okay, that's great. But what does the map say? It doesn't matter. We don't need it. I know where we're going. Yes, we do. No, we don't. I'm pulling over. Everybody's at Coachella while well, we're at Couchella, but we're going to judge their outfits because there's nothing better to do and I have no fashion sense. Let's go. Okay, first up, we got Dixie D'Amaleo. Uh, it looks like she borrowed Justin Bieber shorts and the top is cute. We got Charlie D'Amalio. This looks like an outfit I would have seen in a magazine in grade six and really wanted. Um, she's working it though. Haley Beaver giving us an absolute 2% max effort with this life stealer wife beater she's wearing and these pants that she probably raided from her husband's closet or her grandpa's, I can't tell. Bretman Rock looks like he bought an outfit for Coachella and then put it in the dryer for a little too long and somehow did the opposite process with the boots, but it's still cute, he's still slay. Harry Styles cosplayed as Animal from the Muppets, which is cool. If I had a quarter for every time Harry Styles did not wear a shirt under his outfit, I would probably have enough quarters to make this current outfit. Lizzo absolutely slaying in this bubblegum realness. She ate all the crumbs. I would give her my firstborn child for these pants and just for her in general. This looks like a sold separately outfit you would have to pay extra money for for your Barbie doll. Rosalia absolutely looking fire in this flowy outfit and it's cool that she actually performed after getting LASIK surgery. 
Apparently, this is Amanda Steele. I don't know her, but if there's ever a shoelace shortage, I know who'll be stealing all the laces. Um, this woman is perfect, and she cannot do any wrong. Y'all like the first couch hella roast. I'm still sick. Let's roast some people. I don't know anything about fashion. Evan Mock is looking like if Adam Sandler appeared on an episode of Duck Dynasty. Glorilla is glowing on the top and clowning on the bottom. Emma Roberts forgot her outfit, so she went to the H&M sale rack to find one last minute. Miss Bell will be hosting an 80s Taibo workout class after the first performance. If you're from the southern states, you should probably check your mom's closet because Bad Bunny probably raided it and took a piece from each one of her favorite sundresses. I've been wondering why I haven't seen Barney in a while and Justine Sky is making me suspicious. Absolutely no notes. These women could pour hot coffee into my lap and I would thank them. Lil Nas X absolutely slaying in the Celt, but I'm a little confused about the Lululemon jacket. Pink Panther S, the 2000s called, and they're just as confused. Kendall Jenner looks like she's about to take a planned paparazzi Whole Foods trip to get a picture of her eating dairy-free pistachio ice cream. I don't think I'm legally allowed to say anything bad about Ember Chamberlain, so slay. All that's missing from this outfit is an actual horse. Here's my audition. <laughs> hey, you want to go to the mall? Uh, yeah, I got an appointment in a few hours, but I'd love to. Cool. Ooh, and after we can sneak in a lunch at that new restaurant that just opened. Ooh, yes. Are you going to have enough time, though? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, you want to go to the mall? Can't. I have an appointment. Oh, bummer. Is it soon? Five o'clock. It's 11 a.m. Exactly. You have six hours before your appointment. Yeah, I don't get what you're not understanding. You have a lot of time to do stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. So you're just gonna sit there for the next six hours and do nothing? Yeah. Yeah. Tell the truth. It's horrendous. It's horrendous. It's modern. Don't lie! I'm not! I look like a pencil. You... You don't look don't like... Don't laugh! <laughs> it's okay! It's not okay! I'm gonna lose my job! Don't lose your job, it's cool! It's not cool! It's edgy! Oh, fuck off! No, it's cheap! It's unsalvageable! Claire, it's French! Really? Yes. I can't believe I'm single. I really thought Doug was the one. Here's some of the best advice I ever got, okay? Men are like refrigerators, okay? It's not about what they look like on the outside. It's about what they got to offer on the inside. Whoa. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. Doug had a nice fridge. Are you saying I should get back with Doug? No, 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 okay? You're missing the point, okay? Doug is the fridge in this scenario. All right, I know he wasn't the Hollister model, but he wasn't that bad. No, see, Doug is a nice, expensive KitchenAid fridge with no fingerprints on the outside, okay? But when you open it, all you see is expired milk, bacon soda, a six-pack of PBRs, and half a jar of pickles in it. You get what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure Doug had a Whirlpool fridge. Oh, my God. What I'm saying is he's pretty on the outside, but he's empty and rotten on the inside, okay? I see. I see. Okay. But what about when you have company? It's always good to have a nice fridge on display. Yeah, until they open it and realize there's zero substance inside it. Oh, see, simple. Close it, forget about it, order food. No, you can't keep ordering food, Amanda. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. But answer me this. If a straight man is a fridge... What is a lesbian? We're like dryers. There's either nothing inside or all our clothes hot and ready to move in with you. It's true. Mm hmm Oh, I wish I was a lesbian. But I just can't wrap my head around the vagine. But I guess I did once when I came out with my mum. But I think that was just a one and done situation. Okay. Oh, this talk has got me hungry. You got any snacks? Yeah, I got a fridge full of them, and you know why? Because I'm not Doug. Ah, I see what you did. Yeah, see? I am scared. I've been paying really close attention to Bill C-11, aka the Online Streaming Act. It's something my fellow Canadian creators should be paying attention to, and all the viewers as well. Bill C-11 was supposed to be promoting Canadian storytelling online. In reality, the bill has ended up so broadly worded that it lets the CRTC interfere with every part of your online life. That includes manipulating your feeds and search results, requiring you to provide proof of your age to access platforms like Reddit and Twitter, and controlling your favorite YouTube channels, TikToks, and other streaming services, and even your own uploads. Earlier this month, the Canadian Senate passed Bill C-11 with a helpful amendment that better protects Canadian creators. But on March 7th, the government gave notice that it would reject this amendment that would protect digital creators. This is terrifying and honestly wild for the government to just ignore digital creators and its viewers. 
Luckily, there is still time to make an impact. I will put a link for you to click on to send in an already written letter to your local MP. Thank you so much for listening and hashtag fix Bill C11. Hey dad, I'm going to go hang out with some friends. I love you and I'll see you when I get back. All right, sweetie. Have a good time. I love you. See you dad. I'm going to hang out with friends. Hey, uh, turn the music down, okay? You're going to bust your eardrums. Well, what the, well, what's that you're listening to? Is that Ride the Lightning by Metallica? Yeah, so? I don't need the attitude, okay? I really love that album. It's a good album. You like you like that kind of music, hey? Yeah, whatever. All right, geez, I'm just saying. That's that's pretty That's pretty nifty. That's uh, Have fun with your friends. Okay, bye. Hmm. I'm mentally ill and don't know how to show affection. So recently, Selena acquired chickens and she named one after me. This one is Chris. And I too have acquired chickens and I'm naming, I'm naming the black and white ones Selena. And the other ones, this is Berta. You are the this is Betty. It's a good day for singing a song. And she's got a little white on her. And this is Brenda. Brenda's a bitch. Let's go see if these birds laid any eggs. Let's see. We got eggs? Oh, damn! We got eggs. Mama's making eggs. Look, wow, well, we got four. We eating good today, boy. We <laughs> Selena. There you go. Ow. Shit, okay. You're lucky I love you. There you go. There you go. Head move. Ow! Oh, sh Selena! Oh! Oh shit! Oh not all of them! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Where did you guys go? I don't know how to get back in. <laughs> Look at- Oh, Berta! Berta's like, how'd you guys get out there? Berta. Here. Come on up. Yep. You need to go back. No, this way. Berta, don't. Berta, this way. This way. Don't- Don't- No attitude, Brenda! This is how to herd chickens 101. <laughs> Selena, oh, oh, what a good girl. Look at her. <laughs> oh, Bre <laughs> Brenda. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Brenda, 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 Brenda! 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 <laughs> Jessica's gonna try. Oh yeah, teamwork, teamwork, teamwork versus the dream work. Good job. That's there you go. Oh good. Oh good. Oh, good oh wait, no, that's Berta. That's not Brenda. Good job. Betty! Come on, Betty. Oh good job, Betty. Alright, Brenda. Let's go. Get your butt moving. Oh gosh, Jessica's got Over that mom here. authority. Let's go. Yes, go Jessica! Ahead. We got the chickens back in the cage. <laughs> Oh my god, you're literally my dream girl. I got mental illness, and I joke about it. And if I can't joke about it, it will destroy me. I complain why I'm single, but I don't talk to people. I just sit in my bed, talk to the voices in my head. This is us after our first drink. This is us after drink number two. This is this is this is us after three, four, four drinks. I don't know. We're on drink number. I don't know. I think we're on five. It's not correct, right? I've had seven or eight drinks. I'm not sure. I'm in the toilet. Look at this toilet. I've had about eight drinks. <laughs> I said, hey, 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 tater tot. <laughs> We're <laughs> drinking about it. We have to say we have finished our last, last drink. drink. It's been too many drinks to talk about. <laughs> Cookies are amazing. Okay. <laughs> Everyone say night. Everyone say night. 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 Night.
It's so nice to finally get out and go to dinner without the kids. Ah, agreed. Hello? Welcome. How may I help you and your... friend? Uh, girlfriend. <laughs> uh... Do you have a reservation? No, I've never needed one here before. No. Well, we are completely full, so we cannot serve you. Then why do I see four empty tables right there? Those are reserved. For who? Other people. Oh, I do not see any other people here. <laughs> They're running late, I guess. All of them? Yes. Let me ask you this, Todd. Do you like your fingers? Oh, no, I don't understand the question. Let me rephrase. Do you like your fingers being attached to the rest of your body? Are you implying that you would take off my fingers? I did not say that. Did I say that, Janet? She didn't say that. You said that. Uh, but now we have that all sorted. You can sit us in one of those four tables that we both know nobody is coming to sit in tonight. And you can keep your pretty little fingers so you can go home to your extremely unsatisfied wife and actually put them to use for once. Deal? Right this way. <laughs> you weren't actually gonna take his fingers, right? Of course not. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a nice cafe. There's no seats open though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ma'am, I see you're almost done your food. Are you almost done here? Can we borrow some of the chairs you're not using? No, I'm working and my bags are on the chairs, so. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm just gonna go up and order. Do you want a croissant? Yes, please. Okay, just wait here. We'll figure out where to sit later. Stop staring at me, you little creep. Get lost. Ow, you're hurting me. What the, what are you doing? No, I don't want any candy, strange lady. No, no. It's okay. Stranger danger. Okay, okay. I'm leaving. <laughs> hey, Riley. Oh, look at that. There's an empty table. <laughs> yeah, crazy. That worked out. Oh, and I had to order you a muffin because a guy in front of us got the last croissant. I'll be right back. <laughs>